Welcome to OpenOffice Video. I am Martin, and in this video I will show you how to create a document where you have page numbers on all the pages, a correct table of contents displaying all the proper page numbers, and also have a first page, for instance a title page, without a page number. This is a bit trickier than you think, but I will show you how. First, we insert a I have a dummy document here. Let's say this is your report, because you, what you'll usually do, you'll just type and then you'll edit the title page later. So that's what we're going to do here as well. First, we insert a blank page before uh, the other page. We force the text down to the next page. You can do this uh, through the menu to insert manual break. But what's most convenient is to just use this, do this uh, by the keyboard. Uh, you can use uh, the Windows key and press enter at the same time or press command key and enter at the same time if you're on a Mac. So here we have it. Um, now comes the trick. We go to this button, the styles and formatting. You have a number of options here, usually it's for here. You, you've seen this before. This is where you have all the uh, styles, the formatting for the headers. But you also have a section here for character styles, frame styles, and page styles and list styles. But the page styles is what we're after here. Now we click on the double click on the first page page style. And now you see that here at the bottom you have first page where it said default before. And since this is something you do per page, you can get a, a change here. The first page it shows first page. Here you have it. And now I'm going down to the second page and it shows default. This is key because this allows you to create a different uh, page layout including all the footers and everything else you want on it uh, for each text. We'll, we'll add a few more pages in the same manner. First an empty one for the table of contents and now you know, just create a few because you know table of content with a very few titles doesn't make any sense. So this is a title. And I'll give this title the style heading one. In the interest of speed, I'm just going to copy paste this title to a few places. Because I pasted it inside the text, it got the formatting for the text. Well, let's start this off with the title as well, shall we? All right. Now goes the footer. It's important that you get to the page that says default and not on the first page. Otherwise, you create a page number on the first page, page and not on the rest. Instead of not on the first one and on the other, on the others. What we want to do. Insert footer, and here you see you have an option. You can insert a footer on all pages. What we want is we uh, want to insert a footer on all pages that have the page style default. And we insert field page number. And now what you see, you have a page number here, not on the first page. Um, so that's okay, but the numbering is not right. As you can see it, it starts at number two. So what we do to change this is we insert a manual break and we say I want the style to be default after and we say change page number. And now you see the first one is blank and the second has a page number. All right, now if we create a set like this, we go to indexes and tables and we insert a table of contents. You see it has all the titles on four and the first one is blank and you can actually see that this title, the page for this title, is four. All right, hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.